in our previous video we have discussed regarding reactive forms and we had implemented reactive forms for our profile page so in this page edit your profile we had implemented reactive forms but what was lagging in this if you observe in this edit your profile page if you want to edit your profile first the data has to be pre-populated in our input boxes right because we want to know whatever the user logged in here those user credentials has to be pre-populated here that is first name and last name so that we can edit the profile and click on save and save the changes but it was not getting pre-populated so now in this video let's see how we can pre-populate the data for this first name and last name and on clicking of this save button what should happen is this whatever the changes we have done for this first name and last name has to be reflected on our welcome message that we will see how we can implement let's switch to visual studio code so inside profile.comnet.ts if you observe we had created form controls for first name and last name but here if you want to pre-populate the data for our edit profile page we have to pass parameter for this form control so what should be the parameter the parameter here should be the data which comes from the auth service we can get the current user information from auth service so what we'll do is let's import the auth service over here and let's inject the auth service okay so let's import auth service if you have if you haven't watched the implementation of auth service please watch my video which corresponds to this auth service implementation you can find in my playlist okay so I'm not going to repeat how we will implement this auth service for now. Let's just directly import auth service from dot slash auth dot service. Okay. Now we have imported auth service. Next step, what we have to do, we have to create a constructor and we have to inject this auth service so that it will be usable inside this component, right? Or else this component will not know which service to use. This auth service, we have to import it and we have to inject it here. So let's inject auth service over here. Okay. So let's create constructor and a private variable. Yeah, private auth service. Comes from auth service. Okay. Okay. Now we have injected auth service into our profile component okay from from this auth service what we can do is we can get the current user first name and last name which we can pass as parameters for this form controls okay so for this form controls if you observe here new form control we can pass parameter which comes from auth service let's do that now okay so this dot auth service this the auth service comes from here this is a private variable which private property which we have created and we have injected the auth service into here so we can make use of that by making use of auth service property auth service dot current user dot first name this is how we can pass parameter first name for form control similarly we have to pass for last name as well that is this dot auth service dot current user dot last name okay so we have passed in parameters for our form controls okay so what is the next step we have to do now now we have passed in parameters and we are able to access first name and last name as a parameters for this form controls right so what is the next step now is what we have to do we have to create events for save and cancel buttons in our html we have this profile component.html, right? So we have save and cancel buttons for our profile page. So on click of save, what should happen? On click of cancel, what should happen? That we will implement next. Okay. So inside our profile.component.html, for our cancel button, we will we will implement an event over here which has to trigger on click of cancel button. So on click of this cancel button, it should trigger that is click event which should call cancel method okay 
And this cancel method implementation, we have to provide inside our .ts file, that is profile component.ts. So inside our profile component.ts, let's provide after this ng on init, let's provide implementation for this cancel button. So for this cancel button, what should happen? On click of cancel button, whatever we wanted to edit profile here. See, for example, if you observe our application, if I'm entering something and if I click on cancel button, it should not save the changes and it should not update the welcome message. Instead, what it should do on click of this cancel button, it should navigate back to the all events page. So to navigate back to the all events page, first inside our component, we have to use router service. So we don't have it the router service. So we have to use router service. We'll import router service and we'll inject the router service inside this constructor such that we can navigate to events page. So let's do that now. Let's import router service. Okay, here I'm going to import router service, import router from Angular, that is at the red Angular, slash router, here it is, okay. And we have imported router service. Now what we have to do, we will make use of this router service by injecting inside our constructor. So we have already injected auth service. So along with this, we will include router service. This private router comes from router. Okay. So we have injected router as well. Now we can make use of this property, router property to navigate to that particular page on click of cancel button. So inside our cancel method, let's provide this dot router dot navigate navigate method where it should navigate it should navigate to events page so i'll provide us events that's it so we have implemented cancel method on click of cancel what should happen we have implemented now so next what we have to do we have to also implement for the save method because till now we have just provided for the cancel button what should happen this click event uh, should trigger and cancel method will be called and cancel method what we are doing we are navigating to the events page that is done now we will implement for the save button so to implement for the save button if you remember whenever we were implementing the template based forms we had implemented the save button by making use of ng on submit right ng submit so let's make use of this ng submit event we will trigger ng submit event on form which will call save profile method and will pass profile form values as parameter let's see how we can do that okay so for this form i am going to provide ng submit and this event will be will trigger and it will call which function I'm going to provide the function name over here. That is the method name, save profile. And for this save profile, I'm going to pass profile form dot value. So what is happening here? Whenever we will trigger ng submit on form, it will call save profile method and we'll pass the profile form values as the parameter for this. Okay, next what we have to do, we have to implement this save profile that we will see. Okay, so we have to pass profile form dot value as parameter as parameter for this ng submit okay now for this save profile method which we have provided over here for this ng submit event we have to implement the save profile method right so next we will implement the save profile method inside our profile.component.ts okay inside our profile.component.ts along with this cancel implementation let's provide implementation for save profile okay. save profile this is the method name this will be called which will take form values as a parameter okay it will take form values as parameter okay now if you want to update the profile see here we are 
making use of save profile method we want to update the profile by making use of the form values okay what are the form values first name and last name where we can find these form values we can find the form values from the auth service right if you open the auth service you can see the form data here whatever the required fields for the that is username first name last name these data if you want to access where it is stored it it can be accessed by making use of current user right so let's make use of this current user okay how we can do by using this dot auth service we will create another method here which will update the current user okay which will update the current user so current user method what it will take it will take form values what are the form values form values dot first name okay what is one more thing form values dot last name so form values dot last name okay we are provided now here if you observe inside our auth service we have not yet implemented update current user we are taking the values from it by making use of form values dot first name last name but where is the implementation of update current user it should be inside the auth service so we have to implement update current user method inside our auth service so let's open auth service and let's implement update current user here okay which will take first name and last name as parameters and it will update it okay let's do that now now We'll create a method over here with the same name update current user and it should take parameters that is first name of type string then the other one is last name which is also of type string okay and this last name first name and last name we have to update it how we can update it by making use of current user that is this dot current user dot first name will be equal to first name okay and similarly and similarly this dot current user dot last name will be equal to last name okay now what else is remaining See so if you observe over here inside our ts file we have implemented the cancel button functionality save profile button functionality save profile button functionality we are calling update current user which will update the values of first name and last name whenever we are updating the profile okay but one more thing is left out here what is it once we update the current user data it should navigate to events page right along with along with updating it's not that after updation it should stay on the same page it should navigate to the events page right so let's provide that also as well here so what we are going to do this dot router dot navigate where it should navigate it should navigate to the events page so let's provide events that's it so these are the changes we have implemented so far okay where we have implemented by passing parameters for this form control so so far what we have done just we will see high level and then we will see the output of the changes what we have done okay first what we have done we have passed in the parameters to the form controls in order to pre-populate the data so where we can get that we can get the current user information from the auth service so so we have imported auth service and we have injected the auth service over here such that using that auth service we can access the current user first name current user last name okay so next after this what we have done we have created events for save and cancel button in our html in our html for each of the save button and cancel button we are triggering corresponding event which is calling this method and we have provided implementation of cancel and save profile inside our profile.component.ts over here right so inside our save profile we are updating the current user okay by making use of this auth service dot update current user we are updating the first name and last name by passing as parameters for this update current method, current user method okay after doing this we are saving the profile the edited profile and we are navigating to the events page so on click of cancel also it should navigate to the events page on click of 
saving also it should navigate to the events page but in this case it is updating the profile as well it is saving the profile profile changes that's it okay now let's run this application let's run this project and let's see the output okay let's run this by making use of npm space start so now our project is getting compiled it's building the modules it got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost colon 4200 okay let's open this on our browser okay now if you can observe here this is our application page and all events page which you are able to see here now i will click on login button okay login link and here i am going to provide username and password i am going to provide insertion and i'll click on login you can observe here that welcome prince message is getting displayed now after this if I click on this welcome prince link, what will happen? See, here now you can see that the first name and last name are getting pre populated. That's what we implemented in this video, right? We are pre populating the data that is logged in username, that is the first name and last name, we are pre populating here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update this, okay? I'm just going to update this to some other value, for example, Sri, and I'll click on save. Now you can observe that our welcome message got updated successfully that is it changed to welcome Sri, and it is navigating to the all events page now if you click on here again you can see the updated value getting displayed over here this is how we are editing our profile and saving the changes of our edited profile right this is what we have implemented in this video so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos please click on that uh, bell icon so that you'll be receiving notifications whenever i'm uploading a new video and keep watching the videos thank you so much